you always say you could be American <laughs> by this time next year or something. Are you going to be staying over there for a while, pursuing some more breeders' stuff? That's right. We're um, well. Initially, I'm going over there to rehearse because we're we're going to be doing some live dates. Some live gigs. And then we hope to make an album later on in the year. Okay. All right. Well, we'll carry on talking a bit more. But right now, we're going to take a look at a video from Perfect Disaster. Okay. Perfect disastering there, and you're just saying the breeders. You're going over to the states to uh, do some live days. I mean, does this mean the breeders is turning into a, a real live rocking proper band for good, or um, is it going to continue along the lines it has of when you get together, you get together, and it happens? Um, it's hard to say at the moment. I mean, I'm I'm a bit unclear about it myself, which right. is uh, slightly worrying. But <laughs> on the other hand, I've put up with it for the last two years. Yeah. Um, we are now able to spend longer together m than we ever had before. Right. Um, so in that sense, it's, it is going to be more, you know, of a real band, a real band whatever that is. Or living and breathing. Well, that's right, and probably murdering each other by the end of it. <laughs> as they tend to do. But as you say, I mean, I mean, I was talking uh, the other the other week, in fact, to. Um, which I'll use we'll see later on, sort of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, who, and the Bad Seeds themselves as a project, 
are also similar in the way to the breeders. They're people who have various other bands mm. going on. And uh, they say they find it hard to balance out the commitments mm. or something. So it must be quite awkward. It, it, it is really hard. It's really hard because it means that you can't ever feel fully committed to any one thing yeah. because you just don't know what's going to happen with it and when you're going to get a telephone call, yeah. you know, calling you off to do something else. Yeah. But on the other hand, I guess it's more exciting and it also means that you do kind of make more of things instead of, instead of if you're just doing one thing all the time, mm. it can become a bit of a drag sure. and you get kind of fed up with it and... And also um, it's productive, as I thought, working with other people. Different, very much so, different yeah, people. very much so. And you, can't, you do kind of appreciate the good things about it more yeah. um, when there are good things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure there are. In fact, there's one coming up now because we're going to take a look at the video. In fact, the first video from the British have made a video before. Uh, th there was actually one. Was there really? Yes. Oh, we never had that. No, I think it was, it was not suitable to um, oh. broadcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out why. Now you'll what. be searching out for it. Oh, yes. Well, let's take a look at Safari then, for now. As far as I'm concerned, that's the first video, but you're telling me it's the second one uh, from the Breeders and Safari. Now, we should talk about the, the other thing which you have begun now, of course, which is Honey Tongue. Yeah. And if you could just explain to us, it's the fact there's two of you involved in that. That's right. Um, it's, a, it's a thing that I've done with John Mattock, who is the 
gone spiritualized. from spiritualized. Right. Yeah. He was Spaceman Three as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's when I first met him. We've we've known each other for like three or four years. Right. And um, first played together about three years ago. Right. And really enjoyed playing with each other. And you know, even at that stage, said, "Hey, we should try and d record something." Yeah. And it wasn't until last year that we each had kind of time to do it and so that's what we did so but presumably as well this is again because he's also committed to it exactly it's one of these open projects where you find the time yeah you'll end up right. doing it together which is actually i i hadn't realized quite what a disadvantage that was going to be because yeah. we did a live show last week right and uh that's the only show that we can do because of course spiritualized start off on tour <laughs> tomorrow and i'm going off to yeah. Oops, there goes the microphone. <laughs> um, <laughs> to destroy the microphones. And I'm going off to the States next week. Yeah. And, you know, we ha we've had people ringing the record company saying, you know, are you going to do a tour? You know, we'd, we'd be interested in putting it together. But that's and we can't do it. It's on the know. back boiler yeah. for a while. Well, anyway, thank you for coming in and talking to us. And uh, when uh, Honey Tongue get a video, we'll, of course, we'll play it here on the show. Okay. Best of luck in the United States of America. And hopefully the breeders, anyway, will come and play in Europe. If yes. They that's, That's right. likely to happen. Yeah. Maybe the end of the year, I'd guess. Uh, maybe sooner than that. Maybe sooner than that. Oh, well, we'll keep you informed. <laughs> Thank you, Josephine. We'll take a look at the pixies right now.